This is the Human Centipede 3 final sequence. Before we begin, I got my little, <laughs> I got some of the, the heavier stuff, a vomit bucket, phone loaded with cat pictures, and a box of tissues in case I start weeping. Let's do this. We start with people watching a movie about people watching a movie. The first part is a movie in this universe, so is the second part. Jesus Christ. That was pretty much the reaction I had when I watched it. That was disgusting! Now put on a Serbian film like I asked! I recognize these guys. Dieter Laser is Warden Bill Boss, and Lawrence Harvey is Dwight, his accountant. He's actually got more lines this time. What do you think? If they stick. There's a review right there. Good night, folks! Okay, let's keep going. Oh, Brie Olson is here to add some class as Daisy, the secretary and only credited female in the cast. She's... she's not treated well here. Well, that is an understatement. You know, I was an office assistant once. It wasn't that different. They work at George W. Bush State Prison, which has a worse record than Oz, Shawshank, and that prison from Fortress combined. A guard is stabbed by a prisoner, played by Tiny Lister. He's just irritable because his bones aren't getting enough air. Punishment here is swift and harsh. They're going to miss days like these. Ah uh, yes, the best way to gain respect? Behave like every middle school substitute teacher I've ever had. I deserve respect! Respect! I think someone has a crush. His blood pressure is through the roof which is strange since he's so laid back and chill. The prison isn't doing too well. Too much violence, medical costs are through the roof, everyone is out of ideas. Bringing back medieval torture methods. It's nothing like Orange at all. Please. Eyes for eyes. <laughs> um, line? Uh, teeth for teeth! A prison should be a real deterrent and a goddamn nursing home. I agree. Bill gets a package in the mail. What is that? Bright clitorises. A jar of imported clitorises. Wait, what? Clitorises! What? I think I found my new ringtone. He eats these for strength. They say crispy in milk. Snap, crackle, and sploosh. You know, he really didn't have to order online. You can get locally farmed clitorises right here in your neighborhood supermarket. It's just that most men have trouble finding them. What? We're coming. What? He also gets crank called a lot, and it really freaks him out. This goddamn meat is driving me insane. I don't think it's the heat. Fuck! Only I didn't say fudge. I said the word. What did you say? No me! So in retaliation, he waterboards the crank collar with boiling water. I don't think that's how you teabag someone. He survives, but now he has to work as a Subway's meatball marinara. This does not go unnoticed. The governor visits, played by Eric Roberts. Yeah, they got Eric Roberts, and he's not voicing a talking cat this time. He orders Bill to stop the violence and get things under control or they all lose their jobs. I'll return in two weeks. I want changes. I have a feeling he's gonna see some changes, all right. Fuck yourself! He's probably still in the building. Does this lead to reforms, treatment programs, and counseling? Maybe eventually, but first... Castrate them all! Dude, this is a prison, not an animal shelter. Or is it? As a test run, they get a volunteer. Robert Lasardo plays inmate 297, his unfortunate patient. You have to admire a boss who rolls up his sleeves and gets in there himself. You know, it takes balls to castrate someone like that. This scene is too graphic. You actually see him remove his testicles. Oh, no! Here go the hands. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Who put vodka in this? You think your job sucks. We cut, sorry, poor choice of words, to Boss getting a Lewinsky from his Monica. 
This goes on way too long and is really uncomfortable to watch. Bill Boss has the weirdest O face. <laughs> this is the prison hospital Bill Boss wing. It looks like he's keeping him busy. We'll start a fucking mass castration doing them all. I know what we can do with all the balls. Bazinga. Prison can be fun. How do you feel? I feel fine. How about you? See how castration rendered him docile and friendly? Dwight finally reveals his idea for the prison, turning the entire population in a massive human centipede. This would serve as the ultimate deterrent for any wannabe criminals and people sick of civil liberties. But Dwight needs a more professional opinion for his idea. I've seen those. They're really good. That, that's really cute, Mr. Six. Praising your own movies within your own movie. That is brilliant. Looks like Bill just got back from Walmart. In a rare display of restraint, Bill is hesitant about that centipede idea. We wouldn't want to go too far, would we? So, that's a hard no from Bill. It's always tough on the kids when mommy and daddy fight. And I grew this stupid mustache to look like you! He doesn't have a mustache. Bill gives a pep talk to the audience from the adventures of Pluto Nash. Bill is later attacked by inmates. Remember me? I have a problem! I'm gonna cut me a fresh hole in your soft kidney tissue. I didn't know that was a thing. It's a thing, isn't it? Do you know what would make this even more awkward? Uh. Huh? It's not what it looks like. But it's just a nightmare. Uh, why was that still a wet dream? You do have centipedes in your human centipede movie, right? Hello? Hello is this I really Hello? hate that man. Director Tom Six cameos as himself. Here he is, kids. Get a good look at him. This is the mind behind these movies. He seems normal, right? Let's get to the fanboying. So I'd like to say congratulations on your movies. They've become a, a cultural meme. Big fan. Uh, thank you, sir. Big fan. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. One digestive tract to another, so it... But there wouldn't be much nutritional value. Can't be any worse than keto. Because the last thing you want is your entire prison to get a copyright strike, they secure permission from Tom Six to use the centipede idea on one condition. On attending one of your real mouth to anus operations. Why don't you just watch one of your own movies? Wait, this is one of your own movies. <sighs> Informed consent is extremely important, so they showed the prisoners the first two movies on movie night. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. When they find out this is a vision of things to come, the inmates get a little annoyed. During the riots, guards are injured, Bill jumps out a window, and Daisy is beaten half to death. Backup arrives, and the riot is contained. And it looks like the centipede is well on its way. Bill starts tranquilizing the inmates. If you just wanted things quiet at the prison, why not just do this every day? Some inmates are not compatible for various reasons. One inmate has Crohn's disease, and he has constant diarrhea, which the warden assigns to be attached in front of the guy who raped him in his dream. What a weird grudge to carry. This is also the man he castrated personally. Just stop, man, you won. Another guy has a stoma, so he won't work in a centipede either. <laughs> Daisy's in a coma, and not in a real hospital for some reason. Seriously, man, we already hate this guy. Look away, Dwight, look away. He starts when he, Daisy's unconscious and he starts to rape her. This is a horror movie in itself. Oh, God. <sighs> ah, that's better. Tom Six checks in and gets the grand tour. One inmate can't wait to join the centipede and he spends his time eating what I hope are baby roots. But he's nuts, and Bill doesn't want anyone in the centipede to enjoy what's supposed to be punishment. Is that seriously your answer for everything? How is he getting away with whacking random inmates? Six sees what his movies inspire. The scene, YouTube would flag it instantly if I tried to use it, but I'll try to describe it for you. They stitch one inmate's mouth 
to another inmate's ass. And the sutures are uh, running back and forth, and they pull on the suture, and it's like the docking sequence from 2001. It is... a sight to behold. <laughs> but what about inmates on death row who are never going to be paroled? Bill has his own design for the death row inmates. Trademark, patent pending. And it looks like even Tom Six has his limits. Really, man? This is what makes you puke? The governor returns and is shown the new 500-man human centipede. Well, 500 man and one woman. You see what happens when you don't tip your nurse? What we have here is a failure to defecate. The side project for the death row inmates? The human caterpillar. But it's worth it. Just wait till you see the human butterfly. But you can't argue with results. Dwight's variation of the centipede is not permanent. People can be removed from the chain when they're paroled. This guy finished his sentence, so he's out of here. How are you doing? The warden still isn't convinced. This is a violation of human rights. It's certainly a violation of federal ethics. Nothing left but to clean house. No, wait. Murder-suicide. That's it. Bye, Doc. You know, a bad Yelp review would have been adequate. But the warden returns with a change of heart. This is exactly what America needs. How can you... Oh. You've convinced me. It's genius. Even though it was Dwight's idea, Bill would rather take sole credit. <laughs> it's Channel Awesome all over again. The movie ends with Bill reacting to this year's tax bill. I feel you, man. And that was The Human Centipede 3, final sequence. And I did it. <laughs>